Hello friends, in this video I have created an app in which we can save data of any customer at any reception. Like here I have these three datas, data of three customers which contain their name, address, the room, the check-in time, check-out time and the number of individuals. This can be edited by clicking on it and changing the data. Like here if I change it to 1200 hours and save it it will become 1200 hours similarly we can add new data or we can delete any data so in this video I will show you how I created this so for this I have added these two text views text view 2 is for exporting the pro the data in JSON form and text view 1 is for adding new data then I have this list view 1 for which custom list view is custom.xml now this custom.xml contains these text views text view 9 for displaying name text view 10 for displaying address text view 11 for room number text view 12 for check-in time, text view 13 for check-out time and text view 14 for number of people. Now let's go back to main.xml. Here in events, initially when user enters the app, on create is executed and this is empty. After that, on start is executed. Now here I have set a file shared preferences component SP with key position to an empty value means the key position will be set to empty and then I have used an if then block if the file shared preferences key all nodes is empty and here I have used not so if this file key all nodes is not empty then all this data will be all these blocks will be executed now initially since it will be empty these blocks will not be executed and nothing will happen so next the user clicks this text view 1 button so when text view 1 is clicked I have used intent I have created a new intent component I here I will show you the components which I have created I have created an intent component I a dialog component dialog and a shared preferences component sp sp so when user clicks text view 1 is taken to editor activity so user clicks text view 1 and he moves to editor activity now let's move to editor activity here i have editor.xml which contains these six edit text fields edit text 3 4 5 6, 7 and 8 which are for displaying name, address, room number, check-in time, check-out time and number of people respectively and then I have this button save button which is button 1 this will save the data entered in all these fields so once user comes to this space and clicks on any of means enter all this data and then click save then all his data will be saved so initially when user comes to this page all on create will be executed here when the key all nodes is not empty then we get the data from this key all nodes which is json data to this list map but since this is empty this code will not be executed now and after that i've used if key position is not empty then this code will be executed now since the key position is empty initially so all this will not be executed and only this will be executed so here I have set this number variable I have created a new number variable position and I have set it to minus 1 so in on create only this will be executed number variable position will be set to minus 1 after that user enters all the data and then clicks the save button the save button is button 1 so when this button is clicked 
here I have used if position equal to minus 1. So, in on create it is set to minus 1. So, and there is else block. So, all this will not be executed. Only this part will be executed. So, here when position is equal to minus 1, we create a new map variable. Here this is a new map variable map and I have used this map create new map after that. I put the data from edit text 3, edit text 4, edit text 5, edit text 6, 7 and 8 with these keys name, address, room, in, out and people and I have added this map to list map. So, this will be one position in list map. All these keys with their values will be one position in this list map. So, if list map already contains some data, then it will be added as a new map variable to the list map. Now, after this, once all this data is added to list map, here I have created this list map variable. So, once all the data is added to list map, we save the data from list map in file shared preferences. So, here I have converted list map data using list map to JSON string. I have converted data to JSON string and saved it in file shared preferences using this key all notes. And for this, I have used this component shared preferences with same name SPSP, which was there in main activity. Here also it was SPSP and in data activity also it is same. So, once the data is saved to file shared preferences using key all nodes, I finish this activity so that user moves back to main activity. So, after saving the data user moves back to main activity. Now, here I have this on start event. So, once the user comes back the key all nodes is not empty now. So, here I get all the data from key all nodes to list map and then display the list map using this block list view set list custom view data and list view 1 refresh data. So, this will be displayed in list view 1 and in order to display it I have this on bind custom view event which displays the text in text view 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 the keys name, address, room, in, out and people. These are the same keys which was used to save the data in map variable in editor activity and these text views are the text views in custom view. Here you can see text view 9 to 14. So, in on bind custom view, I set the text of all these text views from 9 to 14 using the keys from list map. Now, after this, if user wants to delete the data, he will just long click on it and that will display a dialog box with title delete this item and if user clicks yes, then it will delete data at that position of list map and then save the data from list map to JSON string using the key all notes means it will save the data to file shared preferences using key all notes and then refresh the list view. So, this will delete the data at that position and if user clicks no then we need not do anything and then it will show the dialog means we have to use this block dialog show to show this dialog. So, this is list view 1 on item long clicked and when that item is clicked if we have to edit the data we can use this block on item clicked use this event on item clicked here we just save the position to file shared preferences using this key POS and then move to editor activity using intent i. So, here the position is saved to key POS and after this user moves to editor activity here in on create. Now, here the key all nodes is not empty. So, 
all the data from this key all nodes which is json data will be added to list map so here we will create we will have a list map containing all our data and then since the key position is not empty here we will set this number variable position to the data from this key position and after that we will set this edit text 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 value according to the keys at that position of list map these keys are same which are used to save the data name address room in out and people so all the data at that position of list map will be displayed in this edit text field and in order to edit the data when user changes all those data in edit text field and clicks the save button what will happen is all these blocks will be executed and the data at that position will be changed according to the data which is entered in edit text 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and after that this list map will be converted to a json string and saved in file shared preferences component sp using the key all nodes and when user clicks finish activity he will move back to main activity and now here he will see the changed data now you can use or you can search this data using the methods used to search a list map which i described in one of my previous videos i will give a link in description of this video you can make further changes to this app to make it better and that's all in this video i hope this was useful i'll just show you how this create json works this create json is text view 2 so here when i click text view 2 it converts the list map into a json string and save it to file path get external storage directory and my json data dot json so it saves it in sd card using this name my json data dot json so i'll just demonstrate it when i click on create json it shows saving data and then once the data is saved you can see the data in this file manager storage here you can see this my json data dot json now since it is a json file i will just convert it to txt in order to show it to you so here you can see the data name address room out in and people and similarly this address name room out in and people so that's all in this video i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this